You guys hear that? It's the sound of Bill Ruger having a heart attack over this gun. I'll tell you about it in just a second. Let's have some fun here. Yeah, buddy. This is the 1022 we've all always wanted right here. Let's have some fun. <laughs> all right, good stuff. All empty. Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Okay, this thing is absolutely the culmination of what the modern Ruger 1022 should be. Okay, this is a charger pistol, and we are going to talk about this as we go. Of course, I'd like to take a moment to thank our folks at Big Daddy Unlimited for supporting us. COVID has put a real pinch on supply, and they've been doing a great job of keeping us in things that we need to do videos with, ammo, accessories, it means a lot to us. And I'm sure you guys appreciate all the cool gadgets that we can show off here. This is an outstanding piece of hardware. And this particular gun is actually kind of hard to get. And this one kind of flew under the radar a little bit. Um, I, I don't know why, but it just seems like not as many people have been talking about this one as much. This is the eight inch charger from Ruger. Now, the way that they ship this pistol is a little different than the way I have it configured here. So I'll explain. The stock pistol ships with a, bi a uh, bipod for shooting from the bench. It has Ruger's AR-15 grip with the over-molded webbing in the back. I opted for a Magpul K-grip, which makes this much more low profile and compact. Uh, this particular pistol ships with a pick rail adapter on the back where you can run all of your pick rail um, adaptable tail hooks and braces and things like that. In this case, we have a, a um, triangle folding brace from SP Tactical. So we've got a folding brace on this little guy. The barrel, as I said, is eight inches. So it comes out to just right here where the suppressor's mounted. Um, this is an AAC Element 2, very quiet little can. Um, half by 28 threads on the mounting. You've got a pick rail that comes pre-mounted uh, from the factory. And it's just a great Ruger 1022. I'm not a big fan of the plastic trigger uh, housing on the newer guns, but it is what it is for what these things come out at in terms of cost. Uh, they are a fantastic value if you're looking for a 22 long rifle suppressor host, especially. Uh, this is a great little setup, and this is non-NFA. This is not an SBR. This is a pistol with a folding brace on it, okay? Really, really neat stuff. All right, uh, that was a 15-shot mag there in the intro. Uh, Ruger does make BX-15s, all right, as well as BX-25s. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the BX-25 magazine. All right, and we're running CCI suppressor ammunition. This is yielding about uh, 970 feet per second out of a 45 grain projectile, okay? Uh, you guys might recall the Instagram post that I put up the other day when we were shooting the Aguila 60 grain sniper subsonics. Um, they won't quite run a semi-auto terribly well. You'd probably have to go with a heavier spring to run the heavy subs because the bolt is getting so much velocity, it's probably bouncing off of the uh, receiver and outrunning the magazine. And I would imagine that's probably why we're getting issues out of those. All in all though, man, this is sweet. And of course we got this one topped off with a little TA44-2, just a real basic uh, ACOG here. All right, let's shoot it some more. <laughs> okay, look, I'll put a couple in the dirt over here so you can hear how quiet this guy is. All right, suppressor ammo, 45 grain, 790. <laughs> okay, couple down here in the dirt over here, guys. All right, now with no action noise, I'm gonna hold the uh, bolt shut with my thumb in the dirt. Yeah, son. All right. I'm going to hold the uh, action shut around down range at 80 yards on the gong.
Maybe. <laughs> All right, full action noise in the dirt down there. Gong. <laughs> that is fantastic, man. What a great little like survival rifle. Now, uh, Steiner makes a little unit called their RDS. It's a micro red dot sight. Uh, if you guys recall the B&T APC 9K video that we did, we used that optic on that particular gun, and that is absolutely one of my favorite PCC optics. They're very low profile. Um, I wasn't able to get one out in time to make this video, but I think this package would be absolutely singular with that little red dot on here um, versus having the, the bulky ACOG, which this is cool, but it's a little out of place on this rig. And then something else you could really do, I think Chad and I are going to look at maybe uh, doing this, is I'm going to take uh, maybe a, I'm going to take a barrel uh, channel fitting rasp, a stock fitting rasp, and I'm going to open up this four in, and I think we're going to try cut one of these barrels back to about five inches and thread it half by 28 and move this whole can back and have the can kind of blind within the, uh, the four end a little bit just to get this package a little bit tinier. And now you're talking straight up backpack gun. Uh, there is a single point sling mount right here on the top of the uh, brace adapter. Really cool stuff. I mean, at its heart, guys, it's a Ruger 1022. You get the idea, but I wanted to make a video on this because not a lot of people are talking about them. They are available in a couple of different configurations. This is the 8-inch model, which is actually the hardest gun to get out of all of them. They make this exact same gun in a 10-inch version, and they also make a pack light version that uses the, the, the light version with the lightened bull barrel uh, in a 10-inch, and I don't think they make the bull barrel version in an 8-inch. So if you want the shortest configuration, you got to find the 8-inch gun. And these things come at, at a ridiculous price point, super affordable. And in my opinion, if I could only have one 1022, this would absolutely be it. And the reason I mentioned Bill Ruger, rest his soul, uh, here in the intro, is that Bill Ruger was not, you know, the original Ruger family, and as Bill, you know, introduced a lot of things, he was not a big proponent of black rifles, okay? It's known that he he did not like the idea of civilians having these types of guns, and he certainly would not approve of this configuration of the uh, 1022. But in my opinion, this is a boss configuration to have a Ruger 1022 in, especially when the price of the base gun is no more than any other 1022 that's out there. All right, this is one of the BX25 doubles. You've got uh, two 25s that are actually attached together. All right, and this is loaded with CCI standard velocity ammunition. This is a 40 grain bullet moving at 1070. All right, let's try this stuff out. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if it works good for us here. All right, I'm just gonna have a little fun. All right, we'll hit some soda bottles. How about that? Okay, I'll, I'll hit a few pieces of steel, swap the mag around and we'll hit these sodas. I mean, the gun shoots right where it's looking. I know I'm kind of close, but man, if you were squirrel hunting or something, dude, this thing would be a squirrel annihilator. I mean, just a great squirrel hunting rifle. Okay, we're all out on that one. Okay, it fed that side. Let's go ahead and swap a roo here. It's nice. Okay. Soda bottles. I'm going to try to do some triple and maybe quadruple taps on the sodas. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, little soda guys are going on there. Okay. 100% reliability. Very, very cool. You can't go wrong with a Ruger 1022 with subs, but before we get going, all right, a lot of our gun videos, we like to include some kind of a cool knife, all right? So let me know if you like this format. All right, so this is the knife of the day, okay? A DPX 
survival neck knife. All right, really, really cool knife. This particular knife was a gift uh, from my friend Judd over at Fostech. Uh, he sent this to me one year, and I just think it's the coolest knife. You got a bottle opener, just a, a nice survival knife to go with something that I feel fits the survival pistol category quite well. I mean, especially when I talked about, you know, reducing the length of the barrel, you get this thing into a nice backpackable configuration with a small like Steiner RDS on it. Combine this with this knife, you've got a great little survival package. It's got its own Kydex sheath. You can wear it around your neck, pull it out. you got a great way to defend yourself, you know, chop stuff up in the camp or whatever. A great little survival knife, and you can beat the ever leather mess out of these things, and they work really great. And I love, you know, the functionality of the 550 cord wrap on the, uh, on the handle there. Really cool. Very cool piece of hardware. Put that in backwards. Really cool stuff. So that's our knife of the day, the DPX uh, neck knife, survival knife. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate all of our viewers. Uh, special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for believing in what we do and seeing value in what we do. Go over to Ballistic Inc., pick yourself up a t-shirt. We've got some great man cans for sale over on the website. Check the links below. Lots of great stuff that we handpick for you guys that we know you're going to love. So go over and check out a man can if you wish to support the channel. Those are the most direct ways that you can do so. All right. Whew, man, what a cool, cool, cool pistol. Th this has to be the, my absolute favorite thing that Ruger has put out in a long time. Cool stuff. Look at that. Little brace folds. That's cute. You guys have a good day. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.